Welcome to module two. Today it's all about the routine and I'm going to kind of break it up into two parts. The first part is building those routines when you've got like a newborn to a two-year-old or a child that's still in that napping phase and like sleep cycle phase. And I want to start with here because I feel like in all honesty this is the easiest time to build these routines. Now if you're past that stage please don't worry I've got you covered too but let's figure out the newborn to two stage first. If you've got a newborn to a two-year-old, the best thing that you could do to establish a love for reading and valuing books is to attach reading to their nap time or their sleep cycles. So as you're getting them ready for their nap, maybe they've got a bottle, you change their clothes, change their diaper, you sit down and you read two or three books and then it's kiss, prayer, snuggles and bed. If you do this consistently, even if they're, if they're at two naps, three naps, you're moving down to one, it just instantly establishes that routine of reading and the children will get used to reading and infusing that into other parts of their day as they grow and develop becomes really easy. Now, if you're past that stage, please don't worry, I've got you covered because remember, I didn't start this home journey of reading like this right away with all of my children. So I've got you covered. This is what we're going to do. If you've got children that are older, that are not napping, and this whole routine thing is new, I want you to keep the long game mentality. This is really important. We need to think about the long game and having success in the future because the routine will be a bit more tricky to establish because, well, if your three or four year old is anything even a little bit like mine, they're probably a little bit strong willed and they'll tell you whether they want to do something or not quite freely. So we need to keep that long game mentality and have small goals and work towards work those bigger and bigger. So the best thing I could recommend is pick one or two times in your day when you're all together and you're not in a rush. This could be breakfast. This could be after school with a snack. This could be uh, at dinner. This could be before bed. This could be in transition from one thing to the other. Pick one or two times in the day where you're all together and you're not in a rush and have a goal of reading two books together, one or two, maybe three, depending on your stamina, and keep it at that. And as you build the routine of that, okay, and some days it'll be great. Some days you might get two or three books in. Some days you might get one page of one book in. It's okay, all right? Just, we're building those routines. Over time, you'll see that either you'll be able to extend those times and read more and more books, or you'll be able to add other times in the day into the routine um, of reading. We often find transitions good. So from one activity to the next, let's pause, read a book, kind of just recenters us. If we're having a hard time playing, sometimes stopping reading a book calms us down, gives us some fresh ideas, and we can go at it again. We often read while we're eating, so breakfast or dinner. We read before bed. We listen to podcasts in the car. This was something that we built up as well. We did not have the stamina for it at the beginning. At the beginning, it was like, okay, we're going to listen to one little story. And slowly, we built it up over time. Another thing you can do is bring books with you in the car. Let them have a look at the books, if they, as long as they don't get motion sickness, um, while you're driving. Um, we bring books to all restaurants, doctor's appointments, visits, any appointments like that. Um, and the goal is to read at least one book before we go to iPads or move something like that. Um, and now we've built it up. Okay, we're gonna read two books and then three books and then, we're, and then we've brought in chapter books as well. Um, and so you're, again, you're building up those routines. It's all about the long game when it comes to building routines. And if you keep that mentality and you keep consistent, you will see amazing growth in your children's love and value of reading and literature. Remember to download the workbook. There is a work page for today to help you through establishing and building routines. And I'll see you tomorrow for module three.